What's going on there, folks? Good evening, Earthmaster here on this uh, beautiful Tuesday evening, July 27th, July 27th, 2021 is a date, uh, about 8 p.m. West Coast time, where the latest quake on the Earthquake 3D globe is a 4.7 striking out here. Right around the, uh, looks like the Russia area. We'll go ahead and check out some uh, information on these quakes happening over the last 24 hours on the uh, USGS map here. You can see that 4.7 striking. Uh, looks like, uh, I'm not even going to attempt to say that word, but uh, you guys can see it uh, on the map there, 4.7 in this area. Uh, what else we got going on over here? Mediterranean looks pretty quiet on this side of the world. We are getting some uptick in earthquake activity around the Iceland area, kind of away from the volcano uh, down here that we've been kind of watching over the past few months. Uh, so kind of keep an eye on that region here. Uh, what else we got here? Moving South America, way down here, around the South Sandwich Islands. We had a 5.0, 48 kilometers for uh, this earthquake. Also, uh, looking up here towards the, uh, looks like the Peru area, they had a 4.5, kind of deep, not super deep, 47.7 kilometers for that 4.5 inland, uh, down dip of the uh, Peru-Chile Trench. Uh, we are seeing some renewed deep earthquake activity over here in Fiji, no surprise, right? A couple earthquakes there, uh, close to 600 km. I did check on the deepest earthquake ever recorded. Um, it looks like the strongest deep focus earthquake and seismic record was the magnitude 8.3 uh, earthquake that occurred at a depth of 609 kilometers in 2013. Looks like right around uh, uh, Japan, it looks like. The deepest earthquake ever recorded, um, not the strongest, but the deepest was a 4.2 earthquake in Vanuatu at a depth of 735. I knew it was down there around 700 and something, but I couldn't remember exactly. So it is not too often we see that deep movement. Uh, and that would be right around this area right here, uh, which uh, definitely sees deep earthquakes, but uh, looks like pretty quiet over the last 24 hours. So 735 kilometers back in 2004 uh, in this re region, a 4.2. Pretty crazy. Uh, Indonesia has seen some further earthquake activity um, stretching up over into this region. Japan looking pretty quiet. We're not looking at any uh, sufficient movement over the last 24. I know last night when we were doing the update video, we seen a, kind of a cluster of quakes deep inland. Uh, today, nothing. Uh, just a little 4.4 uh, south of this, uh, south of Tokyo, southwest of Tokyo. Um, off of the Japan Trench, way down there though, 354 kilometers below surface. Uh, so, hasn't stopped completely. Definitely still some deep movement taking place in that region. The Aleutian Trench, eh, not too active until you add on the uh, all magnitudes here and it kind of picks up a little bit in the microquake depart department. Anchorage uh, looking typical for microquakes around that region and into northern california a little bit of further movement uh, right around the uh, northern california area just off the cascadia uh, just off the pacific plate it looks like a 2.4 at 14 kilometers off the coast there of eureka and a, a little bit further movement inland a 2.4 near willow creek at 22 kilometers below the surface a little bit of movement up here as well. Just a little microquake. Some microquakes throughout the coast range. Also, uh, the geysers uh, seeing their typical uh, geothermal activity uh, earthquake sequences down there. Some movement along the Calaveras Fault as well, inland off of the San Andreas Fault. This is San Andreas right here. A couple small microquakes just, just right around there. And uh, looking at the Antelope Valley area, things calming down. Uh, seems like we're dropping daily. Only 34 aftershocks to report in the Antelope Valley area. Ridgecrest, somewhat quiet. Cluster of uh, aftershocks there as well, about 16 or so. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and uh, still seeing some movement inland over here in the uh, area that we seen last night. We seen little clusters of uh, quakes out here in the little San Bernardino Mountains. That's the North American side of the plate boundary. No swarms to really report down here around the Salton Sea. Brawley pretty pretty quiet as well. Imperial Fault System looking uh, not too active. A little bit of movement down here in the Gulf of California once again a 4.2. But overall uh, dwindling earthquake activity uh, seems like in the Southern Cal area. Oklahoma a little bit of movement as well. A couple explosions. Looks like maybe some quarry blasts. Over here around the New Madrid Fault System, we're getting a little microquake. Oh, very close to the 2.5 threshold there. Marston, Missouri, 2.4 at 8.3 kilometers. So the New Madrid Fault System still alive. There's no doubt, and it's been uh, it's been some time of uh, that they've had a major quake in this area. The U.S. Hazard shows exactly where the uh, the danger is of the new Madrid fault system here. And that earthquake struck right smack dab on it. That's about all to report in this general region. Uh, a little bit of movement in North Carolina, 2.1. Kind of see earthquakes out here around the uh, around North Carolina, South Carolina on occasion. Just not too often, just uh, not really all that big. Just every you know, every couple days, maybe we'll see one or two pop up there. Puerto Rico area looking uh, fairly quiet. A couple small quakes in the southwest area once again. No quakes to report uh, in or around the Puerto Rico trench area, which uh, could be a good sign, could be a bad sign. Uh, no activity. Um, it could be building some stress. Who knows? Definitely keep an eye on that region for sure. What else we got here? Yellowstone National Park. Let's check this out. Uh, a couple small microquakes. Once again, out in the northwest corner of the park. But even there, things to be look to be calming down. I mean, compared to last night, we've seen a lot more. Today, at least over the 24 hours, only a couple small, couple small quakes there. Just that's about it. Nothing, nothing significant at all, really, to report in the Yellowstone area. And the uh, Lake Yellowstone area looking pretty quiet as well. These graphs are still kind of I'm not for sure what's going on with those graphs, but they're annoying. They, they just seem to Looks like maybe some earthquakes there, but I'm not for sure what's going on with the uh, the technical issues that they're having there at a couple of those stations around Lake Yellowstone uh, Let's see trimmer map here in the Pacific Northwest Back down in the Northern California, 12 epicenters of trimmer, right around the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone, right there in the northern Sacramento Valley, south of Redding. Solar weather looking pretty quiet. I did see a little bit of uptick on the aurora forecast. Uh, looks like 40% chance of uh, uh, some geomagnetic storming at the higher latitudes, but dwindling down over the next couple days. You can see that heightened activity there just within the last hour or so and the amplification of the uh, aurora forecast here showing a little bit of a little bit of a heightened significance there uh, nothing major but uh, it is showing up there around the kp for uh kp index of four uh they're talking about their uh, servers you know i was having some issues accessing this site last night Um, 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 let's see here. What do we got? Can I see enough space? Uh, here we go. Here we go. A crack in Earth's magnetic field right now. A minor crack is opening Earth's magnetic field. Uh, as our planet makes first contact with a dense stream of solar wind, this could set the stage for high latitude auroras during the early hours of July 28th. This is tonight. So that's kind of what we're seeing that crack. Uh, allowing some solar wind, uh, some charged particles and whatnot coming through, uh, giving us a chance of the uh, auroras at the higher latitudes.
Alrighty, folks. Um, not a whole lot going on. It's just kind of quiet right now. Um, I expect things to change, no doubt. We'll see what happens. Uh, stream looks to be doing good, pretty strong, and uh, no issues whatsoever. Hope everyone has a good night and uh, stay safe out there. We'll chat you guys another time. Peace out.